Okay, so before I start the video, I kind of want to just give a little bit of a channel update. The last time I posted a Hidden Gems was March of 2019. That's a year ago, and I haven't posted anything since. I've been slacking on this video for so long. I have so many ideas for different Hidden Gems, all from games in my Steam library. I just haven't written the script. I just haven't gotten gameplay footage. It's very much work in progress, but they are coming, everybody. Life just kind of got in the way, finished school, picked up a job, quit that job, got a new job, now I'm busy, so I'm sorry, but just bear with me here, I'll try to work as best as I possibly can, getting those videos out to you, thank you for sticking around if you have, and without further ado, let's get into the episode. Rated M for maximum action. Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Hidden Gems, the show where we take a look at games with lots of potential that go unnoticed. These are amazing games, but they struggle to either keep a steady player base or generate enough publicity. And that's why I'm here. I'm Yuga, and today we're taking a look at Maximum Action. It's an aesthetic, single-player, first-person shooter developed by George Mandel and David and John Szymanski. The game is published under New Blood Interactive, the same team responsible for games such as The Medieval, Dust, and Unfortunate Spacemen. Maximum Action released to Steam Early Access in September of 2018, and as of this video, there are currently 15 players in-game, though it has peaked at around 109 according to SteamDB or Steam Database. The game has very positive reviews on Steam, and it retails at about $15, but typically goes on sale for about $12 or $13. Now that we got all the stats out of the way, let's talk about the gameplay. Much like how Arkham Asylum makes you feel like Batman, or how the Spider-Man PS4 game starts to make you feel like Spider-Man, well, Maximum Action makes you feel like John Wick. You can also dress him however you like. But jokes aside, the gameplay is phenomenal. Think My Friend Pedro or Superhot. Maximum action mechanics succeed in simulating what it's like to be skilled in the art of gun kata or gun fu. For those unfamiliar with the term, gun fu is more of a cinematic and stylistic form of gunfighting than a practical one. The shootouts are heavily choreographed and complex to achieve a visually appealing form of combat. You got people doing acrobatics, jumping and flying all over the place, Though Gunkata became a staple of many 80s Hong Kong action movies, it is still immensely popular today. Chances are that if you watch any of the John Wick movies, or 2002's Equilibrium starring Christian Bale, then you probably have an idea of what Gun Fu looks like. Action sequences are fast paced with quick edits, the main protagonist just keeps picking up guns off the floor, has infinite ammo, and the game lets you do just that. Gunfights are fast, addictive, and different across every playthrough, as you don't shoot to kill, but instead you shoot with style. In terms of guns, let me tell you, maximum actions got guns. Lots of guns. <laughs> There are various weapons and numerous ammo boxes scattered throughout the levels to always keep you in the action. Okay, maybe not that much. If you ever run out of ammo, you can spawn in more or any of the other in-game weapons using the pause menu. But if you think one gun just isn't enough to do the job, then grab a second one. Players are able to carry up to two weapons at a time to make a sweet akimbo combo. Be it with dual guns like the SIG and the Glock 18, an SMG with the KSG, or even an LMG and an RPG, you can approach any level with whichever weapons you like. And for maximum aesthetic. Enable the bullet time feature, which allows you to slow down time and focus on lining up your shots. Need to make your grand entrance by dolphin diving through a window? Slow down a bit and then load your rounds on them. 
for trying to kick someone out a window then give him the this is sparta Now let's talk about the environments you'll be tearing up. Each level is created in the style of iconic action set pieces from some of the most popular films such as Hard Boiled, The Matrix, and Kill Bill just to name a few. Every stage is referred to as a scene, with the seven main ones taking place at various locations. The various enemies and weapons you encounter are relevant to the type of scene you're filming. Say you're in the western, you wouldn't see John Wayne using a rocket launcher now, would you? Instead, you'd expect him to use some type of revolver or lever action shotgun. But in other words, each scene is reminiscent of the era that they're inspired from. When all the mayhem is settled, you can view a replay every scene and change the three different camera angles just like one would when directing a film. This scene editor is still very much in the alpha stage, so expect a few bugs here and there. Textures are often missing, animations are kinda clunky, and the third camera angle seems to be fixed on a wall and it doesn't offer much in perspective. I hope that future updates include a free cam option, as well as an option to fast forward or slow down the replay. Apart from the main levels, Maximum Action also offers two bonus modes. The first is an endless mode in which players face multiple waves of enemies in smaller arenas, one of which is inspired by Dusk. Some of these smaller stages, they offer a quick fix to those who just want to mow down enemies. The second mode, titled The Cutting Room Floor, allows users to play early prototypes of past and upcoming levels. You can also get a sneak peek of future content updates by following the developers. Check their links in the description below. You'll experience all there is to the game within about 30 minutes to an hour, but the various ways in which you can approach a situation offer a lot of replayability. You also have the option of adjusting the level of dismemberment, bullet casings, and the bodies that can be rendered in the stage. You can also change the type of gore you can observe. Additionally, Maximum Action also has a level editor and mod support through the Scene Workshop. This means that players can create their own scenes, either regular or endless scenes, as well as their own weapons and upload them online for others to download. Here are some noteworthy maps that I think you should try out. Now, let's talk about weapon mods. Because, as I said before, Maximum Actions got guns. Lots of guns. There are pages and pages of weapons. 
Wish it could use the Vector or the P90. Well, you got it. Or what about weapons from other games? Like the Silence PP7 from GoldenEye. Or the Thunder Gun from the Black Ops Zombies mode. Maybe Mega Man's Buster Cannon? A Minecraft Diamond Sword? Why not just use the game itself, like a copy of Skyrim for the Xbox 360? Can you use weapons from movies? Well, you sure can. You got the phased plasma rifle in a 40 watt range. Pull from the Terminator series. That suppressed Remington 1187 from No Country for Old Men, the one that goes like. And even the fabled pencil that John Wick used. I once saw I kill three men in a bar with a pencil. Weapon models and animations look so amazing that I wish there was an option to inspect them in great detail. And while some mods are intended to achieve maximum aesthetic, others are just kind of goofy, like Belle Delphine's bathwater. A like, bro sound effect. There are some bugs with the weapons though, like how throwing them into the environment often results in them disappearing from the stage, but nevertheless, these mods add hours and hours of gameplay. The game's short soundtrack is amazing and full of synthwave aesthetic goodness. Unfortunately, the endless mode stages, as well as those from the Steam Workshop, feature almost no music at all. The sounds of weapons firing and hitting your opponent is very rewarding, especially during the bullet time. And the sounds of the environment around you immerse you more into your role. That's it for me. Make sure to check out Maximum Action. Highly recommend it as it's the closest thing that we'll ever get to an FPS John Wick game. Again, this is just my opinion here on Hidden Gems, where I discuss games and hope to bring as much attention to them as possible. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments or on Twitter at underscore you got. I'd like to hear your thoughts on the game and how you like it or you don't like it. If you enjoyed the video, likes are greatly appreciated and don't forget to subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. One last thing. So I'm going to try something different and attempt to run a giveaway. I'll be using steamgifts.com. You must have a Steam account to be able to enter and winners are chosen randomly. I'll be giving away one copy of Maximum Action and the giveaway will run starting Saturday, March 14th and will last two weeks until Saturday, March 28th. Just follow the link in the description below to enter. Good luck to everyone that enters and stay safe out there.